Well, a world where nearly every central bank is delivering hawkish surprises to market. It's the Federal Reserve's turn to step up with their statement coming out on Thursday at 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, then Jerome Powell speaking half an hour later. Will they do enough to justify the long US dollar positions and keep equity markets suppressed? And is talk of rising rates into a recession firmly in play? Now, there's a number of factors that we have to look out for. The first one is what extent will they raise rates at this meeting? It would be a surprise if it was anything else other than 75 basis points. That's what the market's pricing. It's where most economists are sitting at the moment. They could raise 100 basis points and front load the situation. But again, the market would be very shocked by that. And you could see a spike up in US dollars on the back of that. The 75 basis points seems to be the default position. Then as we explore the statement, the question really becomes is what happens in the September meeting? Will it be yeah, I'm purposely vague. Will it give them flexibility and optionality? But we want to understand whether they're likely to raise rates 75 basis points or 50 basis points in that, in that September meeting, considering as the QT program ramps up to its full capacity of $95 billion in that meeting as well. So one suspects it will be quite vague. And then as we go past September, what is the statement suggesting about where the Fed funds rate could go? As it stands at the moment, the market is firmly of the belief that we get, seven, uh, we get 75 basis points at this meeting. We get another 50 basis points at the September September meeting, and then we get two 25 basis points back to back hikes in the September and December meeting, taking the Fed funds rate up to effectively three and a half percent by the end of the year. Will the statement justify that, or will effectively you could see some position taking on the back of that? If we have a look at positioning in dollars, we know the market is long of dollars, quite substantially so, but nowhere near where we were in 2019 if we look at the futures reports coming through. Investment bank flow is clearly long of US dollars as well, so the statement needs to justify that or there are going to be some risks that the US dollar comes under pressure and that can put some upside pressure on gold and equity markets rejoice. So positioning clearly needs to be justified there. In terms of options pricing, well, we are long of volatility and volatility is quite high. So people are expecting some big movements. So that plays in there as well. So an interesting one to look out for. It's going to be the event risk of the week. Trade it with Pepperstone. Thank you.